Well, Jamie, that's a solid point on the road. You must be really pleased as a squad to come to a really tough place and get a draw. Yeah, uh, it was a great point. Coming to like obviously ground like this, we've got obviously a lot of fans and obviously they've got good momentum in the playoffs. Getting a point here is massive. Um, obviously we're nil down and show that we'll come back and hold on and we're unlocking that to uh, mix I think, but um we take a point and we move on to the next game, yeah. And they had to have a penalty to, to score against you guys and it was you that were penalised. Manager doesn't think it was a penalty and you think it was quite harsh. Yeah, it was quite harsh. Um obviously I'm gonna say that but uh, I didn't think it was a pen but it happens, you know what I mean, and referee gives decisions sometimes it's not the right or wrong, but we, as a group we reacted uh, really well and uh, we came back and we showed like we got a bit about us, definitely coming to the ground like this to uh, get back into the game, yeah. Because the opening half an hour they had a lot of possession, didn't they, but actually it looked like you guys improved after they scored. Yeah, definitely, because when you can see the goal as well, you kind of kind of need to attack a little bit more, but um, they, had a lot, they had a lot of possession probably the first 10-15 minutes, but I felt like we still had spells as well. We took to the game plan and, uh, and it obviously planned out well, yeah. And you, it was really the biggest um, attacking intent that you had when you scored the goal, and it probably an unlikely person to get on the end of, of the cross, but it was a great goal. Yeah, it was a great goal. Uh, great goal. Uh, Lo- uh, Young is caught in, he's, uh, he's hung up back stick. Uh, Laws has come over, a great header. But yeah, I'm proud for him, uh, he deserves it as well. He worked so hard for the team as well, and um, had someone like him to get a goal, his first goal at the club, it's, it's just, and there's, there's never any bad time to score, is there? But just before half time, that must have really buoyed you guys ahead of the, the second half because you're often better in the second half. Yeah, definitely. Um, momentum was with us, so obviously when you score at the end of the first half, it always helps. But obviously, they're going to go in like, oh man, we should have not conceded a goal, etc. But obviously, from our point of view, it was just like, you know what, we're back in the game you now, the momentum is with us, and you could see when the game was going on where we were creating chances here. Yeah. And the second half, you had a lot more of the ball, created some chances. You went close as well to yeah. putting you guys 2-1 two, yeah. two up. So close to that goal. Yeah, I was close. I thought I was going to nick it before the keeper got there, to be honest. Um, he was unlucky. But, um, yeah, it was creating some patterns of play we done. And we've uh, got down the side as well and we've worked into the box as well. But we was unlucky. But overall, we take a point. And like I said earlier, coming to the ground like this is it's massive for us. And you've played so many games for, for the club this season. Is this the best football you're playing? Yeah, um, 100%, but we played obviously really well in other games, but when you're down the bottom, it's like, you, look, you don't get the look at the green, and unfortunately that's that's football for you. Well, I think we played well in a lot of games, but because we've got a little momentum behind us now, it looks obviously a lot better because we're looking more better results, positive results. But yeah, I'll probably say so, yeah. And four points from the, the last two games, it's when you are down the bottom, those kind of little mini unbeaten runs really, really help, don't they? Yeah, it's massive, massive for the, for the lads and going into the game, being more positive, thinking, not thinking they uh, come off a loss. Because, uh, you obviously, you always think about the last game, if you win, lose or draw. So obviously, winning and obviously drawing today, it's going to help massive, yeah, moving forward. Looking ahead, another long trip to Barnet on Tuesday before travelling to Halifax on Saturday. It's a lot of travelling for you guys, but I guess if you've got confidence, you just want to get back out there. Yeah, that's part of football. You, it's just that's how the schedule are, unfortunately. Um, Two away games not a problem. We just go out there, we play like this, what we did against Chesterfield today. No, there's no reason why we can't get a result and win at Barnet and same at Halifax and Sailor. And four points clear of the drop zone. How's the, the mood in the dressing room now? You must be feeling much, much better about the situation. Um, as a group, I don't feel, individually, I don't feel like um, I look that's bit, uh, underneath. I don't think the lads do either. Um, I just, we just worry about ourselves and that's what we can worry about, obviously teams around us it's out of our control and you can't you can't worry about that all you can do is obviously worry about what's in front of you and that's uh, Barney on Tuesday 153 fans as well made the long trip here with the game potentially in doubt as well this morning how important are they going to be for you yeah massive obviously we heard them today and um, obviously when we get fans like that today it's, it's massive for us you still can hear them even in the big stadium like this but yeah it's going to be massive for them to be, uh, be able to uh, support us on Tuesday and Saturday definitely. thanks so much